welcome to this episode of Gym Build. And today I'm going to talk about um, coolant overflow bottles because I need one. And I'll show you that in a second. But I want to do something a bit different. Now, I've seen a fair few people using uh, liquor bottles or basically alcohol bottles. And I think that's really cool. I quite like the hot rod aspect of it. Just using whatever's there. Um, but I'm going to try and do it in a way that's a little different. Um, so, firstly, you need a bottle. And I've gone with this. It is a bottle of Chambord, which apparently is a black raspberry liqueur. I couldn't tell you any more about it other than that. The reason I've picked it is because it looks like the Holy Hand Grenade from um, Monty Python. Is show you the radiator and why we need an overflow bottle. So this is the problem I've got. We've got quite a large radiator um, head tank here which is designed to take coolant should it get too hot. But obviously if it gets, if it expands too far you have this pipe here all for venting any gases, any steam or things. Now normally there'd be a pipe that comes out of here and through this hole there. Yeah. So should your car overheat, this then dumps a load of dumps a load of coolant, boiling hot water all over your front wheel and your front brake, which is just what you need when you're driving a car. Hot wet brakes. So we're going to try and prevent it using a bottle to just catch it. Now problem I've got here and a lot of people who've used like Jack Daniel bottles or um, things like that is that they tend to be square. This is all round. So I need a decent bracket. And to do that, I'm gonna do things a little differently for me, uh, for this channel, and I'm gonna get technological. So let's get to the CAD. This is the bottle as it is. Um, just thought I'd show you some more detail of it. And then I drew it in CAD. Um, spent a bit of time, made it look just like it was. Um, pretty impressed with how it's turned out. And then this is the bracket I've designed. Um, tried to keep it fairly close, um, tight to the cap. And then even put in the Cortina's rear light at the bottom, because I think that's a pretty cool detail. And why not? And it just bolts to the inner wing at the back. And from here, I can 3D print it. about using this this is the first thing I've actually print um, printed with it for the car so I just think it's cool that I can make design stuff have it made and it looks like the thing like I've not had to do any metal dashing to get it to look like that but as you can see we've got to get this to fit I'll show you you have to remove the lid which will sit very snugly there, and then the lid. We'll hold it in position. 
So let's get the bracket in, in place and then we'll focus on the lid. So now the bottle's fitted, we now, so now the bottle and bracket are in position, we need to figure out how we're going to get it across and that means we've got to modify the cap. So the plan is I am going to drill it in the middle as best as I can and then I'm going to go on with this which is made up of a quarter inch uh, BSP brass fittings. Um, so I've got a 8mm fitting here. The reason I've gone with a T-piece is because I need to allow um, this to vent gas. Obviously there's going to be vapour from the steam. So what I've done is put a quarter inch BSP fitting in there and then just drilled it. So that's um, just a bung that would actually just cap that off. But now I've drilled it through, it will allow the air to come through, come out, possibly a little bit of water, but by that point, I'd rather it, it'd be fine. Anyway, drill this, mount that through there, make sure it's lined up, and then we're good to go. Now it's been carefully drilled, I've put it all together, and it looks pretty cool actually, I think. Almost a little bit like one of like some sort of hooker smoking device. Not that I know what one of those is. Now I'm gonna fit it up, put the pipe on. I'm really happy with how it's come out. I think it looks really cool. Um, probably never end up using it because, you know, fingers crossed I'm not gonna overheat my car, but I hope that's given you some inspiration to try it yourself. Uh, I'll be interested to see what bottles you use and how you fit them. Um, and if you like it, give me a like, and definitely if you haven't already, please subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.